Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Dal Sue, and we are on the eve of the Great Mexican War. The first Great Mexican War. <laughs> Hopefully the only Great Mexican War in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. So yeah, I think it's going to go well. We don't have that much up against. I'm assuming that we have pretty good air superiority. I'm working on this base here. I don't know what city that would be. Um, I guess there's probably no city there. So, yeah, we've got 600 fighters. We can uh, bring more over from California because, obviously, Texas needs them more. Sorry, California. We just have to make do with some granola or some shit. Uh, so, we got to go mm, like that, right? Is that going to be too many? No, 800 plus. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. That's going to be just a little bit too many? No, it's going to be perfect. All right, great. So, we can also add a few more once this gets a little bit bigger. And I think I want, yeah, another one. So, we'll be good to start in June, I think. June or July. And we're a little short on rubber. I'm going to let that slide for right now because I'm going to really get into this war here. I guess. I mean, what is it going to... It's going to make me build a few less strategic bombers. I will need more of everything soon, though, because I'm going to be ramping up the uh, tactical bombers as well. Okay. So, we got a few free civvy factories. Is this... No, we can do upgrade this one more time, right? Is that right? Let's see. Yeah, one more time, and that'll be great. So, that'll keep our factories busy, and then we'll do a little more infrastructure here and there. I guess. And we're almost ready. We're going to turn down our speed as soon as it comes up. I assume we'll get a pop-up, but I don't know. I've never made... I've actually never uh, fabricated a war goal before. Italy's joined the Axis. Okay. Thought that had already happened. Uh, France bans communism. Interesting. The Molotov Robotop... Yeah, okay. This is just a normal thing. Shit's kicking off in the world, as it usually does around this time. Okay, we funded the Navy. So, we're going to get some Naval Doctrine bonuses. Uh, destroyer production costs would be fine. And then I'll start probably looking into doing some other stuff. Alright, are we ready to go on this war? How, how much longer before we can invade all the tacos? Why is it not giving me... Oh, because I'm in air, air mode. Okay. So, here. Okay, so the end of the month? Next, tomorrow? Yep. Declare war. Conquer. Send. Shit is getting kicked off, man. Mexico. The die has been cast. Okay, so I probably should have made... <laughs> I probably should have made a battle plan, damn it. I don't really like battle plans, but the one thing about battle plans is you get, like, a huge bonus. A huge bonus uh, if you allow your troops to, like, prepare. So, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking just, like, push right into Mexico City. I'm not very good at doing battle plans, but I plan to, like, control most of the shit myself. So that ought to be fine, and... You can actually edit it. There's a way to edit it. Ugh, I always get a little bit confused at this point. Nope. You can also move this... <laughs> I don't think I'm pressing the right button. I think you're supposed to press, like, control or something. Anyway, this'll do. And we're not going to execute it yet. We're going to let the guys uh, prep a little bit. Looks like we've already got some attacks coming in. Which, I assume we don't have air superiority on these because they're attacking into us. They're also taking a river crossing penalty and a terrain penalty. We ought to just wipe the floor with them in these cases. Yeah, I mean, except for here. Which, I don't know why we'd be losing that. It's because we're getting attacked from multiple directions. That's what it looks like. I mean, all of our stats are better. Our general's better. So, this is going to be a pretty easy war, I would think. But how is he attacking me from multiple directions? This guy must be attacking me, too. Okay, in that case, why don't we send one division... Over here to help. Good idea. And perhaps I should 
have some planes run air superiority missions like here first. Let's switch everybody to Texas. And I want air superiority with all the fighters. Oop, oop. Boom, boom. Yeah, give me all the air superiority, please. As far as you guys go, close air support would be fine, and you can't really do anything because you're a shitty naval bomber. Okay, so that should give us air superiority. Let's see about our ships. Can our ships actually... You still can't sail up into there, can you? It's probably better if you sail to, like, right here. You could probably help. And we should be getting some help here, I would imagine. Yep, shore bombardment. So we should probably win all those things. I would think, especially now if we have air support. See, they're going to attack into us. That's kind of dumb. I, I mean, the AI is a little bit dumb in this game. That's one of the only criticisms that we really have heard from, from gamers is that this is kind of a... Got some AI problems that'll be sorted out later. You know, it's a paradox game. They're incredibly complex. It takes a long time to sort out these kind of problems. But I'd like to take like a mobile division that can move really fast and go down the uh, Baja Peninsula and like take all that land, but it's not top priority at all. Let's just see how things go here. Um, if they're gonna just attack me across the river, I should probably let them. I guess that was gonna that's gonna mess up their organization pretty bad, isn't it? We're also increasing our prep bonus for this attack plan. And what I'd really like to do, if it would let me, is to edit this to go all the way across. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna let me. Ugh, they just don't make this very intuitive, sorry guys. Right click to drag, okay, there we go. All right, so that'll give us the capital and it should be an easy plan to execute once all their attacks have failed. And if I start to see an attack that's not failing, I'll kind of slow it back down. But for right now, I'm just going to let them break across my front, like they're currently doing. And I should have air superiority now in all these fights. Yeah, okay. I've got air superiority. I've got better generals. I've got the Rio Grande. There's no way. So where do I want to break through? Um, I do have a tank somewhere. And I haven't actually trained anything new recently, but that's fine. I've got quite a lot of troops, by the way. Tanks are really good at like breaking through the line, as far as I can tell. So something like this might work, but let's let's try it. Yeah, that's actually gonna work. Incredible. It's because this guy is lacking organization because he attacked me across the river, the dumb shit. So we'll see how that goes. And once we break their line, we could we could just possibly cut them off. Like this whole bunch of guys. I'm not sure how that would work with the battle plans, but it looks like he's going to reinforce here, which is interesting. Yeah, I know. I'm not being super aggressive right now because I'm, wa I'm waiting for the battle plan. See, once they attack, they stop getting preparation bonus, which is a nice thing to have, really. Uh-oh, we're losing. Bring some support with you. We have the combat width where we can definitely do more than just two. Oh, let's see. This is going to be 27, so we can do another one even. But I don't want to break up my line too much. But see, they've left this open now, which was a foolish thing to do, Mexico. So I'm going to put a division in there. He's going to, They're going to take attrition because this is all desert, right? No, this is still plains. These are mountains. I need to be aware of these mountains here. Where's all the desert that I always heard about? I guess it's not as much as I... As, well, here's a little bit. Yeah, there's some desert. Okay. But let's be aware of the mountains more, more than anything. And it looks like they've stopped attacking us. I know I don't want Amelia Earhart. Okay. So... This looks like we're kind of just at a standstill there. But, you know, we're not even using our air support over here. It might be time to go ahead and switch since they've stopped attacking us. Let's do that. They're going to fly into Mexico. All the same missions. That's going to give us... Um, yeah, air superiority. I, it's a shame that our ships can't help all the way over here. Yeah, we're crossing the river, which is hurting us. But let's cross with all three, yeah. Uh, we should win that handily. Need to probably start being a little bit aggressive here. He's got a four stack there. But I can cut these guys off quite easily. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Because I've... 
because you have when you have this line, you have to have the line to get the the preparation bonus. And what that means is they kind of shift around on their own to fill in weak spots, which is not that bad actually. I mean, it's probably good. So we've taken a little bit of territory, and that's why they're going over there to kind of like fill in the line. The thing that sucks though is I think they start to lose their prep bonus at this point. No, he's still gaining prep bonus. Well, that's nice. It looks like they're trying to attack my tank here. Yeah, but we're about to get some reinforcements there and there. Okay, that's nice. All right, where else do we want to attack? I mean, all it would take is breaking through right here, and we would have Baja cut off. So do we want to send three divisions there? I think we have a pretty good chance. That's going to have to go through here. All right. Well, I'd rather that than attacking into the mountains. No, these are just hills, right? Yeah, okay. So that'll probably be fine. I know, I'm playing a lot slower now. Look at Texas. It's even bigger now. Yeah, I, I guess I kind of like how they go and fill in the lines automatically. That is a nice touch, really. Okie dokie. So... We're going to push forward into here with these two guys. See how that works out. We've got better general. Uh, I don't think we're taking any major river penalties or anything. And we've got air superiority. We've got more organization, more everything. So that's a win right there. So the Baja Peninsula will be cut off. That means these guys can't like heal or reinforce or really do anything you know, very effective. So that's going to be nice. Plus, we could attack and have naval support here. That might be nice. I mean, we might as well, since they're going to be cut off. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Some other little skirmishes going on around here. Uh, I'd like to push into here. Let's do that from two sides. I think that gives us a pretty good chance, attacking from two sides like that. We've got air support as well. Good. So we should win that. That's going to be a little bit of a hard battle. Harder than the ones we've had so far. But uh, not too difficult. Like they've uh, attacked us here, but we should win that. And we're about to complete the battle here. Very nice. We are winning. We are winning. 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 This is a defensive battle. This is an offensive battle. Okay, I'm still learning some of the symbols and signs and stuff. Too bad our, our front is a little weak there. I think we should probably start considering training some more people. We are training uh, more armor divisions. Let's also train just one infantry division. Set them somewhere in there. We've got the manpower to do it. All right, looks like we're winning pretty well here. So we could attack all the way down into Baja if we wanted. And we know they're cut off. I wonder how long it takes. Before. They're, they're going to start suffering attrition, right? Is how I understand it. Looks like there's no convoys trying to reach them. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, we want to push through the middle, but we really... What are you guys doing? You're going to go all the way down there, huh? I guess we'll just keep bringing the heat from this side. It seems to be working. Um, I guess punch into there. Why not? It's into mountains though, but we'll still we'll still win. We got something going on here at the Mexican coast. Uh, they can't see us, and there's convoys. Excellent. So they are trying to send convoys after all, and we don't have to watch this. We can just check it after it's done. So that's good to know that our our subs are working. So, do we sink them? Yeah, we sunk them all. All right. I know I've got a couple air wings with no mission. Do I want to uh, create a new air wing? And we've got more fighters. Let's wait for some bombers to get done. That's what I want. Some bombers. What are we missing? All right. Give me some more rubber, UK, please. 
Don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind what's going on south of the border. Just ignore, please. Why is this guy taking attrition? Because he's in the desert? But he's in my territory. Oh, it's because he's walking into desert. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Alright, we got free civvies. Let's uh, pump out some more military factories, shall we? Texas is getting huge! They can't stop us. We're going to punch in here with all three divisions. And we could also bring a tank. No, he's fighting these guys. Okay. That's fine. We need to stop and get a little organization back. I, we still have some some of our planning bonuses going up in different places. Where are you? I can't see where you are. Okay. So here you are. You've got your full planning bonus. You could definitely just... Like... Hit somebody. Why don't you hit these guys? I wonder how this works, because they're attacking us. No, they must be attacking from here. I didn't want them to reinforce. So I guess that's a pretty good plan, considering I have the bonus. <laughs> attacking across a river. I can't hang. What's going on with you? Why are you moving? Did you lose? He might have lost. But if he, if he lost, they would have taken the territory, surely. Okay, so our push worked. And we're stopped here. I would actually like some more units. <laughs> I've got eight right here. That's where they all are. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, uh, can we send, like, maybe... <sighs> This is where the controls kind of bug me a little bit. So you can't... I want to select just a couple of these units. But for some reason, it's not letting me... You can do it like this, but then... Okay, here we go. Ugh. Don't do this. Don't be weird. Alright, we'll just attack with one division then, since that's what the game seems to be insisting on. I guess we could choose another one now. This guy's got low organization. This guy looks like he could help out. Let's do that. Someone gonna fill in the blank here, or what? Why don't you guys just attack? You'll do fine. He can reinforce you, actually. We should win that. Mexico is crumbling! I don't know how much we can actually... Uh-oh, what's going on here? Did I issue that attack order? I don't know. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I was trying to stop them from reinforcing. That's fine. If we if we lose that, that's fine. Okay. Let him go. So we're gonna win this. But we might as well get in this fight like this. I don't know how this works because they're attacking us here and then we're attacking them. How does that work? It's interesting how soft attack goes down. I guess that's because of weather. Did we win that? I thought we won that. So we're moving the lines again. Excellent. How are we doing in Baja? Looks good. Real good. We got the uh, naval support, of course. can't hang with that air superiority, man. That air superiority is huge. And, you know, I don't see any flying tamales, so... Uh-oh, what's going on here? He's attacking my line, but these guys are reinforcing, right? Okay. They are going to reinforce. No problem. Yeah, one tank division can't do it, huh? Crumble before the wrath of the Nazi America. How do I see how the war is going? Oh yeah, I click on this. Okay. <laughs> the Philippines is on my side. Thanks, Philippines. We've lost 5,000. They've lost 60,000. So... 
4% towards capitulation. This is going to be a longish war if I play at this speed, which is fine. The, uh, the war is the part where you kind of need to slow down and, and think about it a little bit. I mean, you need to think about the other stuff too, but not quite as, as slowly. Alright, so we're pushing in there. How are you guys doing on like the war plan? I mean, you guys getting the bonus. That's nice. Can we take this with just one unit? Or did I select two? It's This is the part I don't like. It can be hard to kind of... Right, there we go. We're going to go with two. Pushing right into there. Straight up your ass, Mexico. But we're winning here. Alright, we need to be making more pushes over here, I think. Guys are gonna spread out, spread out. I think we could probably make something happen here. Do that. They do have a little bit of strength there. Getting a, are we getting attacked? Yep. Yeah. Luis Farel. So, I think we're gonna win our battle to capture this territory. Alright, let's start thinking war goals. There's no, like, war goal on the... Actually, this naval bases are worth points, right? I mean victory points, not war goals. This is... Ha, ha, it's, it's with an H, right? Jalisco. In Mexico City. Okay. Well, we've gotten the war off to a great start, but I have to go pick up my girlfriend at the airport. So the war of Mexican domination will have to wait for tomorrow. Yeah, sorry about sorry about that polls. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be like the European Mexico over there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.